Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. We are continuing all this week on a series on the book of Proverbs, and we're looking at a great, pithy, concise proverb each day that can really give us inspiration and help us keep walking with the Lord. And today we're looking at Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20, which says, Walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools suffers harm. In other words, walk with wise people and you will become wise. Walk with fools and you will end up being foolish and you will suffer harm. All my life, I've had an annoying habit. Now, those that know me might say I've got several annoying habits. But one habit in particular is I tend to unconsciously imitate people that I spend time with. Now, I think it probably goes back to growing up as a child in Belfast during the Troubles in a highly polarized society where my parents were Quakers. And to be honest, the Quakers were considered as neither really properly Protestant or Catholic as well. You were in between. They did not take sides in the sectarian disputes. And so I grew up always feeling that I never quite fitted in. And I wanted, like any child, I wanted to fit in. And so I would unconsciously try to be like the people that I spent time with. And it's uh, something that now has become so unconscious, I find myself doing it in, in, in all different kinds of places. So uh, if I was with people who had their hands in their pockets, I would have my hands in the pockets. They'd take their hand out of the pockets, I'd take my hands out of my pockets. Uh, I would try to copy people's accents. I had been born in England, moved to Belfast when I was three years old, but I tried to talk to like the other people on the street where I was, so I did, because I wanted to fit in. Uh, even the way I sit when I'm talking with people, if somebody else crosses their legs, I cross my legs. You know, if they, if they lock their fingers like that, I tend to do the same thing. And sometimes I catch it. I say, Nick, stop it. I say to myself, Nick, stop it. You know, but it's just something I do unconsciously. Now, sometimes it's just embarrassing. When I've been uh, working in the United States for a few weeks and I come home and I'm talking with somebody who doesn't know me and they say, what part of America are you from? And I realize I've picked up an accent in just a few weeks. Or at other times, it can actually be dangerous. I remember as a teenager before I came to Christ, uh, I worked for a year as an apprentice electrician. And I remember working in this factory with this guy who had a stutter and a really, really bad stutter. And you know what? By the end of the day, I was stuttering as well, which was not a good idea because this guy had serious paramilitary connections and he could have easily had my kneecaps blown off and he was starting to think I was making fun of him. And I, I, I had to explain to him and beg him not to get me shot that I wasn't making fun of his stutter. Well, gradually, I've learned to take this trait and put it to my advantage because if I can spend time with people that have a passion for God, then maybe some of that passion for God can rub off on me. When I was the assistant pastor of a Pentecostal church in the north of England, before we came back to Ireland to start Solid Rock, um, I would volunteer. Every time there was a visiting speaker came, I would volunteer to pick them up at the airport, to drive them everywhere. And the reason was I just wanted some of the anointing that they had to rub off on me. I can remember one time this guy, Steve Kelly from Australia, and I drove Steve all over the north of England, took him to meeting after meeting. You know, we drove all over the place. And I basically just ran about and did everything he needed because I just wanted to spend time with this guy and get some of the anointing that he had. And it was crazy because he would stand up in the meeting and say, it's so great to have Nick with me. He's got a real servant spirit. And I'm thinking, it, it's not a servant spirit. I just want some of what you've got and I'm staying close to you so it'll rub off on me. Well, you become like the people you spend time with. So who are you spending your time with? Are you spending time with critical people? Then it's likely you will become a critical person. Do you spend time with gossips? Then you will most likely be a gossip. Do you spend time with kind people? Then kindness should be manifest in your life. Do you spend time with faith-filled people? Then God will make you a faith-filled person. And then when your Christian character becomes fully formed and it becomes part of who you are, now 
you're going to spend time with other people and they're going to become like you. What kind of Christian am I? The people who spend time with me, what are they going to be like? I pray that there is positive things for Jesus in my life that I can convey to others that they will become like me and that being like me will actually bring some things into their life that is truly worthwhile. May God help us today to make the right choices about who we spend time with and about who we become like. God bless you in Jesus name. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5 and another little gem from the book of Proverbs.